and they accidentally left Tulane's logo on one of the weights right here, which is super awesome. So yeah, you can uh, see that Tulane was physically featured in, um, in 22 Jump Street. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm actually pretty excited to put this video together because, fun fact, a lot of movies and TV shows are filmed in New Orleans because you don't have to pay an additional tax. So Tulane University has been featured in a lot of movies and TV shows including The Magicians, uh, 22 Jump Street, The Pelican Brief. Uh, so I kind of want to put a video together compiling all these movies and TV shows that uh, Tulane has been featured in and kind of explain where on campus it was filmed. And so yeah, a lot of famous actors and actresses that have come to Tulane include Drake Bell, uh, Miley Cyrus, uh, Channing Tatum. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get started. So the first movie that I have lined up is 22 Jump Street, which was filmed in 2014, starring Channing Tatum and uh, Jonah Hill. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen this movie, but yeah, it was filmed at Tulane University for the most part. And yeah, let's get started. Yeah, right here, uh, this was definitely filmed in the library in the learning commons on the first floor. Uh, yeah, the chairs are the same, the table's the same. I'm kind of surprised that nothing has really changed. I guess one difference is um, we have booths uh, set up with um, with chargers and stuff, so that's where a lot of students study, and I guess that's not in the um, in the video. Yeah, this part of the film is in the Rathskeller Lounge. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, so this is actually in the basement of the LBC, and yeah, this is where my brother and I did our backflips, and um, yeah, there used to be a restaurant down here. Um, where law students would eat at like 2.30 a.m., but unfortunately they closed that down um, as of last year. But yeah, it's a great place to chill. Um, Tulane After Dark takes place there, so a lot of activities like uh, trivia, arts and crafts, movies. So yeah, um, that's where the Rathgela Lounge is. Okay, so this part was definitely filmed on a quad, and I guess this is a pretty famous place where the, um, where the McAllister splits into three towards the other buildings. And yeah, um, yeah. So uh, this was filmed in the library, obviously. I was trying to figure out which floor it was, but if I had to take a guess, I think it would be um, third or fourth floor. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it um, looks pretty, pretty much the same. Yeah, this is back at the, um, in front of Monroe, I think, and behind the business school. All these statues are fake. Uh, they actually put, built these statues uh, just for the set. <laughs> obviously because they're trashing through it but oh my gosh they're like tearing up the lawn um you can see the eggs rolling by uh those eggs remind me of the um the two the two balls in front of um or right next to gibson uh which i talked about my or tried talking about in my campus tour so i thought that was pretty funny when i, I was actually watching the movie yeah so this is definitely McAllister. um McAllister is kind of like the main highway that goes through campus and it's uh it's pretty crazy and funny seeing the um the helmet car drive down and then this truck totally obliterates the stand. Yeah, that stand doesn't exist um, on campus. But um, yeah, you kind of see a little bit of the LBC as well as the Devlin Fieldhouse right there, which, um, which is pretty interesting. And right here is Percival Stern. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, Channing Tatum is just um, super athletic. I can't believe he did a lot of these stunts right here. Uh, right there is uh, PJ's Coffee, so they're kind of looking at the um, the shot right there. So PJ's Coffee is right in front of Percival Stern. Okay, here's another angle of the car, uh, the, the helmet car going through. And then yeah, he jumps off of the ledge right there. I kind of wish I did that during my uh, parkour video when I that I filmed with my brother. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy that, that he did a lot of these stunts. And I definitely wish I was there to see it. All right, so um, so yeah, the dorm that <laughs> 22 Jump Street was filmed in is Monroe in room 322. Uh, so yeah, that I guess is a historic room. Uh, celebrities were in there. Uh, yeah, so if you're on a dorm tour of the inside of uh, Monroe, that's actually what one of the dorms looks like, and it's pretty typical. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. Uh, bring comforter for your for your bed. Uh, a lot of students don't wash that, but yeah, that's that's so true. Um, so it's the next day. That's why it seems a little bit brighter. But um, yeah, I went through the actual movie, and during one transition scene, they had a drone shot of the college campus, and yeah, they had this drone shot, and I took a screenshot, and you could see. Uh, McAllister, Monroe, and the business school before its renovation in 2015, which is weird to see like uh, what it used to look like, but yeah, it's, that's pretty awesome. And also when I watched the movie the first time, I got super excited, but um, yeah, when they're in the weight room, uh, they pretty much disguised the entire movie that it wasn't filmed at Tulane, but yeah, in this weight room scene, they were using the weights um, in the gym, and they accidentally left Tulane's logo on one of the weights right here, which is super awesome. So yeah, you can uh, see that Tulane was physically featured in um, in 22 Jump Street. So the next TV show that I want to talk about is The Magicians, which heavily features Tulane's campus. And yeah, one of my best friends actually watches this TV show. I personally don't, but she's the one who kind of inspired me to make this TV show when she sent me uh, the video of um, of Tulane's campus, so yeah, um, I dedicate the video to her. So you kind of see uh, this character. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't watch the TV show, but he's walking out of um, the forest, and then the camera pans around, and this is Nukem Quad, and that is Nukem Paul right there, uh, one of the most, uh, uh, one of the most beautiful buildings on campus, and then, um, yeah, this elevator. I'm not sure if it exists. But um, yeah, she's walking through the doors and this is actually a lounge that is in the Lavin Burnick Center for University of Life right here. So if you look at the windows, I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later, but you see the bars that go across the window. That's very characteristic of, um, of the, uh, the LBC. And yeah, there are a lot more chairs and tables there now for the study space. And a lot of students take naps, naps in that lounge. Um, yeah, there's Newcomb Quad again, Newcomb Hall. Yeah, just a, just a beautiful building. Um, and they actually renamed it to um, Break Bills University. Um, I'm not, I can't really remember what it actually says right there, but yeah, it doesn't say Tulane University, but it says something else. Um, but yeah, I thought it was cool that they, um, I guess they photoshopped um, a different different title right there. Yeah, you can see Break, Break Bills uh, University right there. So this next scene, Tilton Memorial, is being featured, and it's actually not a dorm. It is um, one of, I think, it's the home of our econ department. And yeah, you can tell by all the um, the wooden staircase as well as the um, the stained glass windows. And then now they're walking out of that building onto Academic Quad. Um, yeah, there's Gibson right behind them, right there. And yeah, they did um, they did some movie magic pretty well. These effects are are pretty good. But yeah, this is Academic Quad from. <laughs> from the viewpoint of the TV show, which is which is awesome. Right, there's Norman Mayer. Yeah, the benches that those uh, girls are sitting on, those still exist um, on campus. Yeah, Tulane, Tulane looks really good. Um, the beauty of the campus is really, really um, demonstrated in these in this video. Yeah, and then now they're looking back on, um, on Gibson. But yeah, that's, uh, that's The Magicians featuring Tulane University, which is, which is pretty cool. So this video ended up being a little bit longer than I was expecting, so I'm gonna cut it here. But yeah, drop a like for part two because I have like five more movies I can talk about. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.